<laughs> but yeah, I just, you know, I think as an athlete, you know, you do, you, you do expect so much from your body when things don't go right. You know, even though I think I didn't execute as well, I, I kind of did blame my body at the moment. But I don't feel that way anymore. You know, I feel that my body is ready and prepared. And I think I'm going to have um, a much better showing this time. Do you, did, uh, how much of that disease affect your training? And, and, and I mean, you said you didn't, yeah. weren't, how much did it affect and how does it, how much yeah. does it affect you now? Yeah, good question. Um, in the beginning, it was really tough because I didn't know what I had. Um, I was going from doctor to doctor to figure out what it was. And being on different medications as an athlete and someone who had never taken any medicines, you know, besides rarely at a leave for pain, you know, it was really, really hard. And um, and so it definitely affected me in my training. I, would, I was fatiguing more than normal. I had some joint pain issues where I'd have to not train sometimes. But um, I'm not really suffering from the, the symptoms of my disease as much anymore. I actually, last year, I've been working with a new doctor who thinks I had been um, misdiagnosed. And so we've been, he's been treating me differently. And I feel as healthy as I've ever felt. And so I feel really blessed to have that behind me. I still do suffer with the lesions and mouth ulcers at times, but not nearly as severely. So, so the disease new? that we thought you had, you don't have that? No. Well, What's your new diagnosis? Yeah. Um, I've, been, I've decided not to talk about it just simply because my doctor and I are still, it's only been six or seven months that I've been off all my medicines and being treated with this new disease. And so I feel like it's until I know for sure, I just wanted to, to not really discuss it, but I do feel better. And I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not being treated for base checks anymore. Um, and so I'm really excited about that, but I still do suffer with a little bit of this. Are you worried about the, 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 the medication you have to take as far as the doping people? Is there... Of course, yeah. You know, I had to, um, everything I had to get clear through, through USADA. Um, for a while I was on a TUE and it was just really stressful because sometimes you, you know, forget to go through that process because you have to, your doctors are telling you to take it, but you know, it's a responsibility you have as an athlete. So I'm happy now that I don't have to take any more harsh medicines and I'm just on some benign pills that are seeming to do the job. I don't have to be on TUEs or clear through USADA, so it's, it's a great time for me. I definitely feel we're past it. I haven't really had um, many questions about doping or Balco in many years, and I do think a lot of the athletes that are the top athletes in our sport now have been in the sport for a long time and built a great reputation as being clean athletes. So, I, you know, I think it's, it's in the past. I think that people always bring up, you know, kind of the, the sore things in anything in sport or in life, and so sometimes it comes up, but for the most part, I think we're past it. What motivations have you had since a kid uh, when you started that continued, and what do you look on for um, I mean, when you're going into this race? What, what do you feel? Yeah, good question. Um, as I, I was born in Jamaica, and so growing up, everybody wanted to be a track star. It, track and field and soccer are two biggest sports, and I think track, I'm a little bit biased, is a little bit ahead of soccer in Jamaica. And so growing up, I just wanted to be one of the fastest people, I one of the fastest girls. And I still have that motivation. You know, when I go out to the track, I still want to be the fastest. I still want to be the best. And I want to go to the Olympics, and I want to prove to the world that I am one of the best 400 meter runners um, in, in U.S. history. So that's what motivates me to go out every day and train hard and, and run uh, at my best. And I think it's the same motivation I had when I was seven years old. If you were an Olympian, what do you think you'd be doing with your life if you were an if I weren't an Olympian, I think I'd be an actress or model. Or <laughs> you know, I love being center stage. Um, I, I, I love entertaining people, and I think that's what sport is, is does. And people love to watch because it's entertaining, and uh, people also like to follow it because they know how hard you have to work and the determination. So I think if I weren't doing that, I'd be doing something in, in sport or fact. I love fashion. Uh, my sister and I own a salon together. So there are a lot of things that I like to do, and I'm sure my you know when track is over, I'll, I'll talk to some of those things, but um, but yeah, for now it's you know sports. You talk about how about life with you know, yeah. You know, what do you guys do? <laughs> When we have spare time, we do every, anything as far away from sports as possible. Um, no, but it's, it's, it's been uh, such a blessing to, to have a husband that is also a world-class athlete. Um, Aaron, uh, you know, we've both just grown up so much together in sport, and I feel like now we've been the most dedicated and uh, you know, focused on our sport that we've ever been. And uh, he encourages me so much. He comes home every weekend to watch my meets and you know, checks in and demands 
that I take an ice bath and wants a picture of me in the ice bath, and, you know, things like that make the difference. And so it, it, it's just been amazing to have someone else that is that intense, intensely focused. And so when we're not doing sports, you know, we like to watch movies. Um, I like to cook, and so he'll come watch me cook and things like that. But we don't do, we're not very competitive at home. So I'm sorry to ask you a question about Aaron, but which one is he more proud of? He's got a high school championship, a national championship with the PT, and of course the Super Bowl ring. So, so which one does he like to brag on the most? Oh man, my husband doesn't brag on much, but if I had to pick, I would think, um, I would say, I didn't know him in high school, so I, I wouldn't know how much he enjoyed his high school championship. But I definitely think there was something special about when he won at UT and won the Thorpe Award and, and won with all his teammates. I know, I think the second Super Bowl was even more special than the first. So it would be hard to choose, but I, I don't know. I think I think the, the Rose Bowl with Vince and Huff and all, you know, Terrell Brown, all of his friends that he still keeps in touch with was probably, you know, one of the most special. But I don't know. I mean, Super Bowl, it's hard to top that. It's tough to wait. It's tough to wait. you talked about how the 400 especially is a very special sprinting game. Can you talk a little bit about what's going through your head before you start at the start and then through that final week? Yeah, you know, in the 400, like I said, it's a big thinking race, and my coach and I, we come up with a, a plan before every race, and so I always just think of what he's told me and trying to execute the plan, and um, I feel like a lot of times I don't really think through the first 200, and that's for me my most vulnerable part of my race. Sometimes I run a little bit too fast because I'm just so eager, and I find that the second half of the race is usually where I'm thinking more and really trying to position around the curve and then really trying to hold and come home strong. Um, so even though I think I think a lot, I think most of it is in that part of the end where you're kind of slowing down a bit and really trying to keep it together to Do have a success. Do you have something that you say to yourself or is there some sort of phrase or mantra you um, Sometimes I tell myself I refuse to lose, I refuse to lose and that kind of gets me going. The traffic the round tables are now <laughs> Real quick on your preference. What music do you listen to before a um, My music options change depending on my mood. Um, I love to listen to gospel, reggae, R&B, and sometimes hip hop. So if I feel like I need some encouragement, I listen to some. Any favorite song? Um, my favorite song changes all the time. Um, I love Yolanda Adams' Stand, or I think it's I Believe. Um, Yolanda Adams is one of my favorite. Um, right now I like Mavado, he's a reggae artist. Um, I love Beyonce and Jay-Z and Lil Wayne. So I don't really have favorites, I just listen to whatever depending on my mood. Thank you very much. So much on the Balco like There are some athletes who are like coming back from suspensions. Okay. What, what is it like to compete against someone who sort of has that like, taint, I guess? Yeah. Is there you know what, I don't think about it much. I think that um, when someone has been punished and so of their time, I kind of give them a clean slate. I think it's, I think it's hard when someone has been punished and they're constantly being punished again. And so, for like you, like you, I know for sure the person I think of is Justin Gatlin. And I think he served his time, and for someone to stay dedicated to the sport for that long and train for four years with no competition, I actually admire that tenacity. And so I, I, I try to wipe people's slate clean and give them a second chance. And so you know, I'd want someone to do that for me if, if I made a mistake. So um, definitely not. No, no, no. How exciting is it to be with all the media attention Sir? and now knowing that this is the time? I'm very excited. You, you know, no idea I, how tight I, these schedules are, guys. We, gotta, we do. Yeah. I'm very excited. You know, it's, it's what you dream for, what you wait for. And, you know, I love the media attention and all the excitement around the Olympics. And you just hope that you have your best performance when it counts most. All right,